Hey guys, it's Fallon, your friendly neighborhood librarian here, and I am back with a book unboxing, and this month is July's Shelf Love Crate. Um, I do not remember the theme. I'm really bad about that, but we're going to discover it together. So I've already un, you know, taped the box so I can easily open it. Um, this is the little spoiler card. Let me see if it tells me what the theme is. Game on, I believe, is the theme. So, that's exciting because I live for a good dystopian game kind of book. I don't have a clue as to what the book is, so but I know it won't be the same as Alcrate because Alcrate was a very oceanic theme. So, the first thing we have in this box is, oh, I'm super excited, Ready Player One Socks. I freaking love Ready Player One. I know that it gets a lot of crap from book reviewers and book tutors, but here's the thing. Have you listened to the audiobook? It is done by Will Wheaton. It's amazing. The movie was kind of dumb, but I still lived for it because it was so great to see the book brought to real life. And yeah, there were some things missing, but the things that they changed and the things that they did in the movie, it's Steven Spielberg. Like, you know, he's not playing around. He knows what he's doing. It was, I thought, a fun romp. I had read the book, and my fiancé and I had listened to the audiobook, like, right before we went and saw the movie, so we were a little disappointed. But the more that I rewatch it, I actually really like it. It's different than the book. I think you have to go into it. It has nothing to do with this unboxing, but I just wanted to mention that I love Ready Player One. I even liked Armada enough. Um, again, the audiobook is superior because it's Will Wheaton, but Ready Player One is just the 80s nostalgia that I love, kind of like Stranger Things, kind of like... Um, just, I don't even know where else I was going with that. But anyway, going back to the unboxing, the next thing we have is a set of Kiss, Marry, Kill Book Boyfriend Edition. This is kind of fun. It has how to play on the back. Roll all three dice at once. The three sides facing up are your new book boyfriends. Select which book boyfriend you prefer to kiss, which to marry, and which to kill. Play until no choice can be made. Oh, I like it. All the dice are different things. So you've got Malfoy, you've got Thorin, Legend, Raiden, Edward, Rysand, which I'm not, I think Rysand is, I'm not 100% sure. sure. Elias, Dimitri, Jace, a lot of these actually. I, I would probably give this away to someone I know who reads a lot more of this type of YA. Um, I do have some that I have read, but there's a lot of series that I haven't. Uh, if any of those sound super familiar to you and you want to recommend the series to me, comment down below because literally I am a Harry Potter stan. Um, I've read the first book of Marie Lou's Legend series. I've read Twilight, which is Edward. I know that Jace is from the Mortal Instruments, but I've never read the Mortal Instruments. Dimitri sounds familiar. Elias sounds familiar. But yeah, I don't know all of these people, so if you know what series they're from, comment down below if you highly recommend I start reading it, and I might I might pick it up. So, the next one is our chess pieces. This is Petra. He's got his little loaves of bread. Aw, that's so cute. I love that. And then the other one must be, and it is, it's Katniss. These are so well done and they're so super cute and I am so excited for when I buy my new house with my fiance and I can have like my library room because I'm waiting to do a bookshelf tour and a TBR tour um, for when I get that room set up because I did do a little bit of filming during Reading Rush and then I decided just to not just to not edit it and put it together and make a video but like I want to show you guys the amount of TBR I have. Um, I will say this, I will preface this with my TBR used to be 605 books. Like I literally had 605 books in my house that I got rid of. And I still have a huge TBR. So I'm excited to show you guys that. I plan on filming that while I pack for whenever we finally move into the house together. So that's super exciting. The next thing that we have is a Warcross inspired iron-on patch. That's super cool. It's the Phoenix Riders. I'm super excited about that. I gotta find something to put that on. I kind of want to like stick it on one of my backpacks. I think I will. 
maybe the one that I take to LeakyCon, which I'm filming this. This will be this video will be published like way later than, and I'll be back from LeakyCon. So I'm gonna let I'll put in a thing down here to let you know if I did it. Okay, the next thing we have is a deck of cards, always victorious, shelf love. I don't love when subscription boxes give me a deck of cards. Like I, it's not my thing. I discussed this in my Alcrate video, which actually I watched somebody else's unboxing of the Alcrate video and I decided to keep those cards because they were beautiful. They had gilded edges. Um, this is from An Ember in the Ashes, which I did like that book. Let me go ahead and open it and see if this has gilded edges if, or, or if they're just like normal, a normal deck of cards because like how many deck of cards do you need? Like let's be real subscription boxes. This is a filler item. You know it is. Um, and your girl don't have time for filler items. I have a very tiny house and I am trying to like be a little less materialistic. That's super hard to do on booktube as you all know. But again, because I like to mention it in as many videos as possible, libraries are your friend. That's how you can save money because you're not paying for all those books. And I cannot even get this open. This is crazy. Back to the video, I hopefully did an edit there to where you guys didn't see me struggle with these cards for a ridiculous amount of time. They are very beautiful. You can kind of see the gilded edges are everything. I probably will keep these then because they're pretty. I do like a pretty set of cards. What are the other side? Oh, yeah. See, the other side's gorgeous, so I kind of do have to keep these. It has all the characters. Okay, I'm keeping these. All right, Shelf Love Crate, you win this round with the deck of cards, but, you know, like, let's let's keep decks of cards to a minimum in subscription boxes. It's a filler item, guys. Like, these are beautiful, and they're well-designed. The box is horrible to open, but, you know, let's, let's keep that to a minimum. We don't need that. We all have decks of cards. Like, <laughs> if not, they're not that expensive. So what did we get here next? 3D Creative Visualization Lamp. The right side of a very challenging brain and visual illusion lamp, visual feast, 3D visual wooden table lamp. Huh. <gasps> is that a snitch? That is totally a snitch. Oh my gosh, what is this? This is amazing. <gasps> yes, yes, yes. Okay. Shelf love, you win. This is awesome. I'm so excited. You guys, my love for Harry Potter knows no bounds. Like, oh, that is so exciting. I cannot wait to text my friend that I got this because she is going with me to LeakyCon, which I will be back from by the time this video publishes. But she's going to be so jealous. We are, like, going to have the best of times. Um, and I will, I will do a recap video for when we go because there's someone exciting there that I'm getting an autograph from, and I'm super excited. So this month's book... The Beckoning Shadow, which I actually, I've seen this cover. I don't know that I know the plot summary of. Let's see. It is by Catherine Blair. Let's read the summary. Vesper Montgomery can summon your worst fear and turn it into a reality, but she'd rather not. She learned the hard way that it's an addicting and dangerous power, difficult to control and even harder to understand. One wrong move and you can accidentally hurt someone you love. She's better off alone, thank you very much. Mood. But then a chance encounter introduces Vesper to other people like her who have special abilities that separate them from your average baseline human. Finding them leads her to a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, a spot in the Tournament of the Unraveling where competitors battle it out for a chance to rewrite the past. Determined to avoid using her power, she turns to Sam Hardy, a former MMA fighter who's also carrying a tragedy he desperately wants to undo. However, helping heal Sam's heart will mean breaking her own, and the competition won't let her ignore what's inside her. She will have to master her powers, powers that she's been terrified of since they destroyed her life. This thrilling and fresh contemporary fantasy from debut author Catherine Blair is an action-packed look to what happens when the forces of fear take on the strength of love. I don't know if this will be my jam. I will give it a shot, though, because... We love a debut author. We love something new because this plot line doesn't sound too typical. So I will give it a shot. I mean, this is why I have different subscription boxes because 
I want something different. The only thing that I would really love for Shelf Love to do is to start doing like Alcrate and having the author sign the book because I hate these stickers so much. Like, it's not about damaging the book because I don't mind that because I make book crafts so like I have no problem with taking apart a book. Um, but I just, I hate these stickers. I feel like they're a little bit tacky. Like it's not a real signature. It's not the author signing the book. But, you know, I know that you have to do what you have to do to get all these things processed. So that is it for this month's crate. Let me do some rearranging here. All right, so we have got Team Phoenix Riders Iron On Patch, a Golden Snitch desktop lamp, which I am like beyond excited about, a uh, Book Boyfriend Kiss Mary Kill Dice Game, an Ember in the Ashes inspired cards, the Ready Player One Game Over Crew Socks, Book of the Month is The Beckoning Shadow, and the bonus Katniss and Peta pieces from the Hunger Games and I don't think I said PETA before I think I said Tetra and I think that's because I've been watching too much Jane the Virgin it's PETA I you know am super awake <laughs> and there's the usual things where they tell you like some ways to win prizes if you do some social media and August theme is take flight which is very Six of Crows looking. It's like very Russian. I didn't realize, and I should have read this last month. They tell you what the book of the month is going to be before they give it to you. That's kind of awesome. So you can kind of prepare. So the book of the month will be The Merciful Crow by Margaret Owen. That's awesome. And then a fandoms will include Six of Crows, Harry Potter, The Raven Cycle, Nevernight, and Maleficent. Which I am taking Nevernight with me to read while I am in Dallas for LeakyCon. So that will be super fun. Alright guys, that is this month's um, Shelf Love Crate. If you want to subscribe, I will leave a link below. I don't benefit from it. I am not like an affiliate. Would love to be. But you know, don't have a subscriber count yet really. So... Um, let me know if you guys got the Shelf Love Crate. If you like it, let me know if there's better crates out there that you would like me to get. If you love it, if you think this is a waste of money, but, you know, what it is, what it is. So that is all I have for you guys today. I will see you all later and have a great rest of your day. Bye.